What do you think are the most comfortable pair of Doc Martens? Well, today I'm going to be ranking Doc Martens based on their comfortability level, with the S tier being the most comfortable, all the way down to the F tier, which is very uncomfortable, maybe might hurt you. To make it easy, instead of going through each and every pair of Doc Martens, what I've decided to do is divide them up by the different types of leather that Doc Martens offer. So I'm going to be ranking those, and we'll see which one I think is the most comfortable. Let me know yours in the comments below. The first one is the most common one, which is the smooth leather. The smooth leather is one of the most common Doc Martens out there, and generally, I'm not even gonna, this one, for most, I'm gonna say most. For me, it's not that bad. I'll give this one an F, because a lot of people get tripped up off of these smooth leather Doc Martens. I do feel like they're, when it comes to durability, I feel like they're kinda up there because they're a little bit tougher, but when it comes to comfort, oh my days, these ones, they take a longer time just to break into. So yes, they can be a good gift, but also if you don't like somebody, they can be a good gift. It's like, oh, I got you some Doc Martens, you know, your feet's gonna go through it, blah, blah, blah. But this one, if you can go through the pain or if you can do the little things to make it just a little bit easier, Yes, you can break into them, but overall, these are probably one of the hardest Doc Martens to break into, so this is definitely at the bottom. The Crazy Horse Leather, oh my days. The Crazy Horse Leather, literally, I think, one of my favorite, favorite types of Doc Martens. Just like that distress and just the looks of it, it just makes things look so much better. But when it comes to comfortability, for me, I got the Chelsea Boots one, and... I just feel like it's Chelsea boots. Generally, whenever you put them on, the bridge of your foot, like that little arc area at the front of my foot was hurting me for a while, but eventually I got used to it. So I'm going to put this one in the middle of the pack. I do want to say it's a B, but I don't want to be too biased. So I'll just say C. If you have a pair of um, crazy horse leathers, they are amazing. I just love it so much and just how different it is. And then for me, generally, I do not put nothing else on it. I want to keep all that character and everything like that. But my ranking is what I think. The Virginia leather, oh my days. The Virginia leather is somewhat like a blanket, you know? It's so soft, it's so nice. I feel like the Virginia leather is slept on. like. If you do want leather and you don't want to go through that hard breaking in process, definitely consider getting the Virginia leather. They're very, very soft. Like the leather, for the most part, if you struggle with breaking into Virginia leather, you're going to have some issues. So I'm definitely going to put this probably a S tier. Like if you want leather and you want it to be soft and easy to break into, Virginia leather all the way. They do have some nice looking ones too. And then they do do the colorful leather. Usually the colorful Doc Martens are like Virginia leather. So you have that too. But they're very comfortable. S tier. Literally, you should not be having blisters with these or else you have some soft feet. I'm just saying. The patent leather. Literally, I don't think I've actually tried these on before. Like they're very shiny. They look very stiff. I don't know if they're good from the videos that I've seen. They look pretty good. They look like they can get, what is it, snuffed up or scratched up pretty easily. But for me, I'll probably give these a C. I mean, they're shiny. They look like, I don't know. I don't know how long it'll take for you to break into them. I think they're kind of in that middle package of like, I don't, I don't want to say mysterious, but I feel like me personally, I haven't seen a lot of people put them on or I don't see a lot of people buy these types of leather, like the shiny patent leather. But I'll give them like a C in the middle, you know, somewhat like that. The napper leather. Oh, the napper leather. Definitely part of the soft leather crew. And I would say it's not as soft as the Virginia leather, but it's very close to it. The napper leather, definitely, if you want some nice leather and you don't want to go through that, heartache of breaking them in they're very soft i'm definitely gonna put this in the eights here the napper leather will not let you down i remember trying these on they are so good i was this close from buying some um napper leather um what is it Jaden boots oh my days they're so good you got i believe the sinclair they're napper leather too but yes the napper leather 
definitely would recommend for a friend, myself. And then, hey, like I always say, if you have some bad intentions, smooth leather, smooth leather. <laughs> I should offer somebody to smooth leather. Like, hey, I got a gift for you. Two weeks of struggling into breaking these in. <laughs> The Quillen leather, these are the made in England leather. And honestly, I'll give them, I'll give them a C. I mean, I have a couple of these and actually I only have two. So it is a couple, but these are like not too hard for me, not too bad, but also it's not as easy. I mean, I do feel like they're very thin though, but with these ones breaking them in and the comfortability of it, I'll give it a C. I don't think it's going to take that long, but uh, yeah, a C, average, you know, that's what I think about them. The Made in England, I do wish like it was a bit stronger. It was like, I don't know. I just feel like the leather is very, very thin for me. I, I, maybe it's the way that they're making it now, but the ones that I do have, they're very thin. And yes, it looks good from a distance, but Comfortability wise, I don't really have to struggle that much to break them in. So either C or B, but I'm going to give it a C. The vegan leather. Oh my days, the vegan leather. I'll have to say the vegan leather is, I don't know. A lot of people have like that love hate relationship with the vegan leather. For me, I do somewhat appreciate the vegan leather because, for example, my Jadens are vegan leather and I definitely appreciate them. And, uh, Yes, they do have like their good and their bad. For example, the good is it's plastic, it's not real leather. So me breaking them in, I didn't have to. I knew they were not going to stretch. I knew I had to get the perfect size or else that's it. But the uh, the bad is the breathe, breathe, what, how do you say it? The, it's not breathable. <laughs> breathability, breathability, breathability of these are horrible so during the summertime i just put them away and i just leave them out there because they're all black which i do love about the vegans like that monochrome mm, make everything looks nice and um yeah during the summertime they're not as breathable as like actual leather so that's the only thing but i do see the need of for them so i'm gonna give it i'll say a b i mean comfortable this is just how comfortable they are i'll give it a b they don't stretch they don't do anything as whatever you get is what you get so comfortability wise a b probably other parts a but for me comfortability a b a b the non-leather doc martens literally i feel like i need to talk more about these because these ones are like they hold like a special place in my heart like, seriously, I don't talk a lot about them, but non-leather Doc Martens, the ones that I do have, I enjoy them. The reason being is because you get the Doc Martin comfort without the Doc Martin pain. Like, these are definitely a freaking S tier. The reason why I like them, simply because I don't have to worry about breaking them in. And then you get the Doc Martin soles, which are very comfortable. They're a little bit different than, like, the leather Doc Martens, but... They're comfortable as well. I have the Terracolos. Oh, my days. I love those. Literally, every time I put them on, I get at least one compliment. Or people are like, oh, what are those? I mean, or if you can see the pull tab at the back, they're like, are those Doc Martens? You know? So, I definitely like them. The Terracolos. They do have the utility boots. They do have... What's that other one that I could never pronounce right? Is it Rider? Reader? Right? Something like that. I definitely want to get a pair of those. They're very inexpensive and they just look like a very good all around type of shoes. Like literally if I get them, I feel like I can do anything with them, which is very interesting. Like those are, I like them. They got the nylon ones. They got so many different like non leather Doc Martens that definitely I put them up there. I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on them. Like the combs. Oh my gosh. I've tried a couple of them on. And I do want to get them, but I'm like, man, do I really need these? Like, I only got two feet. Like, how many more shoes do I need? Enough is enough. But these ones, definitely S tier. If you want the Doc Martin comfort without the Doc Martin hurt, these are the ones to get. Non-leather ones. Mm. Lastly is something that a lot of people don't talk about, the suede. Like, 
I've never actually like try to break into some suede's. I don't know. I do want a pair of suede's, but it's just something that I never thought about like the suede Doc Martens. Like I'll probably put this one in like hmm this one's going to be kind of difficult to decide like the suede Doc Martens. Um I'll say a C or B. I mean, they're like that patent leather type of stuff or around that range so for me definitely gonna say i'll give it a c i'm not too sure so um yeah that's what i think about them they look good sometimes but i don't want to get them because honestly to clean them and everything that's a whole nother different thing to think about with suede's and then i can't even wear it in the rain they're only like a one season yeah, summertime, and then even if it gets dusty, it's too much to think about. But the suede's comfortability-wise, I'll give it a C. I mean, hey, that's just how I feel. What do you guys think of my ratings? Did I get any, anything wrong? Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear out your ratings on the most comfortable Doc Martens. Thanks for watching.